Welcome to another GCSE Physics Required Practical on the Grade Gain YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at waves. There are two types of waves that we need to look at. Water waves and waves in a solid. As always the instructions are downloadable from my website. The web address is appearing here on your screen. We're going to be looking at the equipment that you need how to do the measurements and the calculations that there are to do with waves. So the equipment that we require is a power supply connected up to a vibration generator, a piece of elastic shock cord, a wooden bridge and a pulley on the end of our block and over the edge we've got 200 grams of masses hanging on our shock cord. So we turn on our power supply, our vibration generator starts moving up and down and we can see that we have vibrations starting to appear on our elastic shock cord. In order to improve the vibrations that we've got we take our wooden block and we stand it under the shock cord. We then slide our wooden block along until the amplitude of the wave increases. If we start getting vibrations after the block we've gone too far so we slide our block back again and there we can see we have a perfect standing wave. Using our meter rule we can measure the length of our wave we start at the node here, we go through the antinode to the node here. <coughs> so measuring that we have a wave distance from here to here of 0.31 meters. Now this is only half a wavelength, so our total wavelength is 0.62 meters. So, using the wave speed formula, where wave speed equals frequency multiplied by wavelength, we can work out the wave speed of our standing wave on our electric shock cord. Now, wave speed is given the symbol V. Frequency is given the symbol F, and wavelength is given the symbol lambda, the Greek letter L. Wave speed is measured in meters per second, frequency is measured in hertz, and wavelength is measured in meters. So, using our results, we have a frequency supply of 50 hertz, and we had a wavelength of 0.62 meters. Now pause the video and do that calculation. So you should have all found out that we had a wave speed of 31 meters per second. To record our water waves we start with our power supply connected up to our rear stat. This enables us to change the voltage provided to our motor which is sitting on our horizontal bar which is known as a dibber connected into our water tank. The water tank has a lamp above it and this lamp enables us to project the images down onto the paper which enables us to measure the distances and count the number of waves we get per second. The first thing that we have to do is measure the wavelength of the wave. In order to do this, you can use your fingers as a guide to gauge the size of the wave. We're going from one light line to another light line, that's a trough to a trough. And then we move our fingers up to the ruler to give us a wavelength. So, if we look at that, that gives us a wavelength of four and a half centimeters. Now that's very difficult to do. The easiest thing is to take a photograph of it. 
or if we zoom in and then freeze frame this we can then work out the wavelength. The next thing that we have to do is count the number of waves happening in 10 seconds. So we can count them as they go past a fixed point. The easiest way to do this is to review the video footage that we've got and count the waves as it goes past slower. So reviewing our footage we know that we have a wavelength of 8 centimetres which is 0 0.08 metres. We also know that we got 57 waves in 10 seconds. So if we divide both of those by 10 it tells us we had 5.7 waves per second which is 5.7 hertz. That's our frequency. So now using wave speed equals frequency multiplied by wavelength. We substitute in the numbers that we have. So we've got a frequency of 5.7 and a wavelength of 0 0.08 meters. We can do our calculations. So on our calculator, 5.7 multiplied by 0 0.08 gives us 57 over 125. Now that's not much use, so we press the S to D button on our calculator, which gives us 0 0.456 meters per second. And that's the speed of our waves in the water. Hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. Don't forget, if you do like what I do, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, Grade Game. The link is appearing here. And also don't forget to click on the playlist here so that you can watch all the other videos that I've created. Good luck with your GCSEs.